Baby. Hey, I'm ready now. Wake up, wake up, somebody said you're back. What do you want now, damn it? What? Really? Hit me with the super bass. Okay, I'll hit you with the super bass. You got it? Yeah. Got bass guitar. I just send you a lead guitar. That's better. What is up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Yeah. Check it out. Charleston White. I want to get in touch with Charleston White and invite him on my show. Because of Charleston White, I'm doing podcasts. Shout, hey, shout out to Charleston White. All the good and the bad. I'm going to tell you one thing. But it's a character. It's a character. I don't like calling females the B word. I never like that. But if that's your character, I mean, it ain't like I never went to a movie, right? And the character called a woman a B or whatever. Man, forget these bitch. Oh, excuse me. Like Boys in the Hoods. I don't watch that movie five or six times, right? And Ice Cube called and say, oh, the hoes got to eat too. Oh, I'm sorry, bitch. You know, and called her a B. So did I stop looking at the movie? No. Charleston White calls them hoes and bitches all the time. But I still like him because he keeps everything else real. And he says, man, that's just a character I'm playing, man. Y'all don't even know the real from the fake. Because of Charleston White, he opened my eyes to a lot of things that um, people like me struggling on, on YouTube and everything trying to um, do everything the right way without going outside the lines. If you stay and don't go outside the lines, you will never, now don't go too far with the lines, man. You don't want to do no gay stuff like like this puffy rumors and everything. I hope this stuff ain't true, you know, and Cat Williams and all this type of stuff. But anyway, Charleston White, I, I, I fucks with you, man. I really fucks with him, man, because... He's a smart brother. He's very smart, and he is he getting out there real big, man. And um, shout out to him. I don't know what this is that they done gave me, man. My team, my team. We take. I'm taking one for the team. You know, we do music over here, the music recording network. But we <laughs> we about to do some Charleston White stuff now, man. So without any further ado, y'all hit that subscribe. Y'all hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell. Shoot, let's check this bad boy. Yeah. Say Cheese TV. In 2018, El Salvador had over 3,000 murders. Man. Say Cheese TV. Like the logo and everything, man. Say Cheese. In 2018, El Salvador had over 3,000 murders. Ever since they locked up majority of the gang members over there, the murder rate dropped nearly 70%. If they do it in America, they do the same thing. Homie, as, 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 as harsh as this sound, Man, we need another mass incarceration. Homie, we need another 1994 ominous crime bill. Like they came and they start getting niggas min minimum sentencing guidelines, mandatory minimum. Homie, we need this strictly for violent crimes and gangs. Gangs should have no rights amongst citizens if they are identified as a gang member, a gang associate, a gang affiliate. They should lose not their right to a due process. 
But homie, they should lose the right to carry guns and to be treated fairly like they would do somebody like us, homie. And they sign up to kill. Gangs don't build. Gangs don't manufacture anything that helps their community. Yeah, they Gangs tear down. don't create youth programs. Gangs mm -hmm. don't create scholarship programs. Gangs don't have burial funds. Gangs don't have a treasury. Gangs don't, they, this, come on, homie. What good are these gangs? Mm -hmm. So, homie, mm -hmm. I agree. I hope that I could meet a politician that need a black voice like mine. That, had, that needs a black voice like mine. don't give a damn like, phone and everything. To help push a new crime bill, just like they needed the black Democratic caucus to join in and help them get that bitch pushed again. We need it, my nigga. Yeah. Or else we gonna keep seeing babies die by the hands of babies and grown folks justify why they die. See, what made it so controversial over there was wow. that they were locking up anybody with tattoos. Even if you aren't affiliated to the MS-13 gang over there in El Salvador, if you have any tattoos that look like anything suspicious, you're getting locked up. Well, they call that kicking the ball down the road. I agree. Mm. Yeah, yeah, all them suspicious ass tattoos, you know, when got it. Yeah, get them too. It's called mm. kicking the ball down the road. We'll let the court sort it out. Yeah. That's why the police just make the arrest, nigga. Whether you now nah, just make the arrest. We'll let the court sort it out. Kick the ball down the road is what they call it. We need to start kicking the ball down the road. We are in dire need of it. Right, right. These niggas shoot up old women houses by accident. They hit innocent kids. They killing the women. They yeah. bite women's eyes out. Yeah. Nigga, they beating up. Man, come on, homie. They need to yeah. kick these niggas' ass down the road, my nigga. You got to kill somebody to be initiated into the gang. That poor person that they killed has a family. This is the gang. This is what he's talking about. So it's going to be some, nothing's perfect. This system is not going to be perfect. So if I thought you was in a gang, you just go through the process and you prove you're going to have your day in court to prove that I ain't part of the gang. Now, nah, they just, they locking me up. I'm a part of a gang that has absolutely no tattoos. If I have no tattoos, period, I would never in my life get a tattoo. I have no tattoos, period. So they're going to lock me up. Well, we don't know what you are, so we're going to lock you up. Fine. Now I'm in court. That's fine. That's okay because y'all trying to clean these streets up, and I'm, I'm a victim trying to help y'all clean these streets up. This is what he's saying, right? You know, nah, that ain't fair. Whatever. Let's go through the process. And then now you go research my background. You can clearly know I'm, I'm not in no gang. I got a license to carry a gun. I used to do armed security. You know I ain't in no gay. I'm, <laughs> I ain't in no gay. <laughs> I ain't in no gang because I used to, um, um, I worked for the last 10 or 15 years. I worked overtime month um hours and hours of overtime cuz so i ain't in no gang okay sir you can leave that's what they're gonna Accident. do that's they what he's saying innocent kids they killing the women they bite women's eyes out mm. nigga they beating up man come on homie they need to kick these niggas ass down the mm -hmm. road my nigga punish them hard because they don't seem to do all that when they go to prison you don't hear about a bunch of niggas fighting and having prison rides in prison for the most part, they're trying to have a good day and get along and pick on somebody weaker than them. So now, nah, man, I'm with it, my nigga. Some got to clean us up because it don't look like we even have the hearts nor the desires to clean our communities up. <laughs> That's up. right. That's right. Something got to happen. This is normal. We think this is okay for black people to be in this mindset. Not the conditions because we are in way better conditions than our ancestors before us. But for us to have this mindset, my nigga, yeah, we either got to be killed or re-enslaved. I believe that with all my heart. When you look at black people today, Something gotta there's happen. nothing that can convince me we'll ever be great again. Something got to happen. Something. And the actions and the inactions Come with of black something. people today, I don't see us being great again. I don't see us creating no new inventions. Uh, that'll put us back in the forefront of of, 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 of being creators and inventors. Uh, I don't see us being 
uh, I can't see it. I can't with our value system, the things that we value, uh, the things that we. Mm. Man, homie, we value nothing. Everything that's negative. Yeah, that's when crazy. You look on every social media platform, homie. Where are black people building it? Mm. Where? Where? That's yeah. why, man, homie. That's why I, 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 I love you because you're a builder, or uh, you're, you're a creator. Yep. Shout out Nigga, to Doctor. Look at where you come um, from. It Uma. was instilled in you. I was introduced when you look to him at where also. Most of these other niggas have come from. Nothing of substance was instilled in them. They got everything from the streets. Want to start a business? I could. If if um. If everybody, I don't know. I don't have no answer. I mean, it, you know, all of a sudden everybody was talking about this woke stuff. Woke, woke, yeah, woke, woke. Okay, that's a nice saying, woke. I should start woke, woke re records, woke records. Um, um, one of the things, uh, a brother at my, little young brother at my job turned me on to Dr. Umar and listen to this brother's preach and it's again i think if if you like 90 percent of what somebody is saying right and this don't have nothing to do with race or anything if you like at least 90 percent of what they saying because there's some things that he said that i don't like that i disagree with i'm not gonna say i don't like them or whatever but that don't mean but he he gave he has too many strong points, strong points to, to let them little dangling 10% of the stuff he's talking about, I don't like. Just like Charleston Wright. Charleston White has too many very, very strong points to worry about the little things that he says that I don't like. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where that's where we need to start at, right? That's where um, our race of people need to start at because <clears throat> we are so much kings and so royal royalty to our flesh, to our own flesh, to the point that if we don't like 2% of something that somebody says, we take them off the table. We take them off the table. Steve Harvey. I'm down with Steve Harvey, but I take him off the table because he some of the things he do and all these out of cat, cat Williams. I mean, I think he's funny and everything. As a comedian, he's on the table. But some of the stuff that he's saying, the way he's doing it, I take him off the table. But I'm he's still a 90%er for me. I'm down with him. I'm down with a lot of people. Now, it's a lot of people that hang around me that I ain't down with because y'all actors, they acting. These people are out there for real doing it. So I mess with Charleston White and Dr. Umar and all that stuff. Y'all go look him up. If you don't, you never heard of Dr. Umar, and I hope I'm saying his name right because I've just been introduced to him and everything. Again, I tell everybody, man, I was not, I was not supposed to be on this microphone. Maybe everybody should follow me. Because I know one thing, I'm I'm with Charleston White on that. Something got to be done. And, and, and until you come up with a better idea, you got these gangs and all these. You got anybody anywhere on any social media doing like this with a picture. You got pictures of, why would you want to label yourself at that, throwing up gang signs? They at church. We was at church taking pictures and these church going women is bringing a little wannabe gangster acting like they gangster um, friends. And we taking a church picture and you see them throwing up little in the background, throwing a little fake gang signs. You ain't in no gang, but why would you do that? And I'm over there preaching to him. Like, why would you do that? That negativity is spreading negative spread. So Hard in our culture. And one, one last thing before I get out here. I wish we could find any kind of way to stop our kids and our people to feel so much pleasure 
from buying the newest Nikes, um, Mike Jordans, and all this, all this clothing. You're giving all your money, all your wealth to feel good because you got on whatever you got on. But you can barely pay your bills. Man, get out of here, man. That I wish it was a way. And I, and I got to say right now, I'm sorry, Auntie. You was right. I was wrong. You was right because she, I was mad at her because she wouldn't let her kids purchase. You know, I took them school shopping because I had money, right? And I let them buy the shoes they wanted because mommy won't let us buy these. And you was right. And I was like, well, you go and get them Nikes. Go and get them. I'm paying for them. Forget your mother. She was mad at me. Mom's yeah, She was mad at me. They don't need to be wearing this materialistic stuff and everything. Else. I'm like, girl, you crazy. You crazy, huh? They... They're going to go to school and be laughed at because they got on the Bobos. They got on these funny old shoes that don't have no name on it. And everybody else wearing Adidas and Nike. But I didn't understand back then. See, I didn't understand. But, Auntie, I understand now, so I apologize. I apologize. You take your money. I wish I can get all that money back and start building some wealth and put it toward wealth, especially with the kids. With the kids, man, it's, it's different, man. I don't know, man. Um, only thing I know, we got to try something. Got to try something. Get somebody Get somebody to try something. If it don't, well, let's try it for a year. Anybody who act like or act on part of a gang, they need to go through the court system and prove that they're not part of the gang. Because I'm tired of these shootings and everything. You can't even, man, anybody to start any type of negativity in a club, the punishment does not need to fit the crime anymore. The punishment need to be way the fuck up here. It need to be way up here. And that's when you'll see people happy in their neighborhoods. Nah, you don't want to do that, man. You know, shoot, if you if you jaywalk across the street, boy, you're going to do 10 years. Well, everybody will walk to the corner. Think about that. Y'all take a light, take a slow, tell them I crossed. Hold yourself. Peace out.